Uh, right behind you, Jared. Right behind you. Hey, uh, you guys uh, have spent the last couple of days going over what you saw in game one. What have you figured out about how you can unlock the offense and deal with their length uh, since uh, when we talked to you after game one? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you know, we just have to uh, make sure that we're executing our offense better with cutting better, uh, making sure that we're getting open um, uh, to just kind of offset their pressure a little bit. And um, those are some of the things we addressed. Uh, when you guys are working kind of late until the clock and you've drove a kick and swung and all that kind of stuff and you get a drive with like five seconds left, it seemed like there were a few times where the guys that were driving were just at that point just looking to get a shot off and they would go right at their bigs. But that's when that opening finally emerges. So how much are you guys just talking about trying to usually squeeze those last few seconds out of the shot clock to actually finally find that open look? Yeah, just continue, you know, just making, um, trying to make the right plays and, uh, and, and when we get good shots, taking them, uh, you know, they're obviously a really good defensive team and uh, we have to make sure that, you know, that we're, that we're getting, we're, th we're taking really good shots every time. Uh, Andrew? How much of an emphasis has trying to get some of those mid-range shots uh, been since, since game one? It seems like that was, it was either, I mean, I know they, they want you to go either paint or, or shoot threes, but, you know, coach mentioned that there was a lot of open mid ranges that you think y'all should have maybe gotten in the, in the first game. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, you know, we'll have to fill it out. Um, uh, but definitely, um, you know, we're a team that, that have guys that can score in, in all three levels and, um, you know, our guys will continue to figure that part out. You guys did a pretty good job keeping Giannis off the, um, you know, point totals, but he, he ends up killing you with the passing. You know, when you're working so hard to prevent him from scoring and he still has a great passing game where he kills you in that area, how, how do you find a balance there between, you know, stopping him from scoring and stopping him from passing? Yeah, no, he's obviously he's a, he's a great player, um, you know, so it's, uh, you know, making sure that we do a good job of continuing to contain him. And, um, and defensively, you know, we just have to uh, be much sharper as a group, um, and I think we will be tonight. And against that drop, can you can you just describe like what the key is for shaking that loose? You know, all their bigs being back, all the guys collapsing on the paint the way they do. You know, have you kind of figured out some ways to shake that loose a little bit? Um, you know, we just have to play our game. Uh, you know, uh, to to uh, Garrison's question earlier was, you know, making sure that we're cutting hard, we're getting open, uh, we're getting to our spots. You know, I feel like a lot of the times we were extended a little bit, so trying to do a better job with that. Zoom question from Mark Murphy. Hey, Al. Um, how much of, you know, you guys had some turnover trouble the last game, just how much was them speeding you guys up behind that and just how do you get a little more deliberate, just a little clearer headed when you're executing? I guess. Uh, yeah, no, no, it's, it's credit to them too, you know, what they were doing, uh, uh, you know, and I think that, you know, for us, uh, it's being able to come out, um, you know, with much more poise and, uh, and execute our offense. Um, uh, the, the intensity um, of the game has gone up um, and usually that's what happens as the playoffs go, it gets more intense. And, um, and it's something that, you know, that we have to adjust to. Final Zoom question from Christos Saltos in Greece. Hey, I hope you're doing well. In terms of uh, the series, we'll move to Milwaukee for game three and game four. The, tonight's game is the most important game of the series for you. How do you approach that game tonight? Um, yeah, we're just focused on tonight. Um, you know, th this is... Uh, you know, the, the way that I look at it is we take things one game at a time and all our focus is on tonight and, and understanding that we're here at home and we have a great opportunity and, uh, and we have to come out and, and be better and, and um, I'm all very locked in tonight. Thank you.